Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I know we usually play Minecraft on this channel, but sometimes those videos can take a long time to put together. And I want to keep the content coming, so I hope you don't mind. We're going to play a different game today. So let me just pop on over here and welcome you to Monument Valley. So this game I can only play vertically on my iPad, so I've got all this space over here and over here. You might see me down here, but I think I'm going to hang out here for the most part. And it's got the most satisfying little tap noise. Listen. Ooh, that's good. Well, let's get into the puzzle, shall we? We'll hold and rotate. And this is uh, kind of a, like a MC Escher style puzzle game where it's all based on perspective. As far as I can tell, so far anyway. But it just has this Beautiful elegance, too. What an intro. Let's get into the actual game, shall we? We've got some sort of temple thing. Oh. And we rotated about ten times, and the four walls all changed into different numbers. Oh, did we actually beat the first level? Was that the first level? And here we go, level two. The garden in which Ida embarks on a quest for forgiveness. So of course we're gonna have to get her in here. Oh, can I not rotate that while, once she's on there? Okay, so I'm gonna take her off and we'll rotate it down this way. And then maybe we can get down here now. We'll stand on the button. And then we'll go back to the beginning so that we can rotate this piece the other way. Stand on this button. I've always loved like the the sound of like stone pillars moving. And I think this is gonna get us home. Wait a second, I'm tapping like right on that, and it's not quite. Oh, okay. That's close enough, I guess. We had a cube in our hat this whole time. Did you guys know? Do you think we leave our cube there? Or do you think uh, we pack it back up, put it in our hat, and take it to the next level? We're going to find out when we finish this one. Level 3. Oh, Chapter 3. Sorry, these are chapters. Hidden Temple, in which Ida has an unexpected meeting. Who are we meeting? Okay, I can go up here, but... Now where? What am I missing? Um, oh, there we go. Can I move it while she's on it? Oh, I can. Here we go. We'll move that over there. Move her down this way. Can we get up here? Can we go in the door? And now that's closed off. Uh, does this go vertically? There we go. Now why is this little ladder here? What's the point of being up here? Hold on. I can't move that up there. Maybe we'll find out when we hit this button. Oh my gosh. The whole tower rotated. Alright, who are we going to go meet? We are meeting the ghost of Christmas past. Long have these old bones waited in darkness. How far have you wandered, silent princess? Yeah, we haven't really spoken, have we? Why are you here? Well, I guess I'm here to learn about Christmas past, right? If if I didn't exist? Well, I see a path all the way up to here, right? Climb, Ida, climb. Ooh, everything's falling away. Climb faster, Ida. <laughs> we gotta make good time if you're gonna if you're gonna make it up these steps before everything withers away. What did I tell you? You were too slow. Okay, so can we, okay, we can drag that down and drag that up. Okay, interesting. Let's get that back there. And, and I guess I'll drag you up to there. How about that, huh? Since you were too slow getting there the first time. And then I can drag this down, right? Oh. I need to step one more and then drag this down to drag that up or drag it so it's there 
They line up, and then we can go press this button. And it just unrolls stairs like a sleeping bag. That's great. Oh, Ida, did you bring your cube? Oh, you did. Oh, now it's a cube in a cube. And it grew. Wow. The Silent Princess has so many tricks up her sleeve. Or I guess in her hat. And we've solved chapter three. Are we going to get like a new dimension of the cube each time? Is it going to be like a tesseract on this next one? Chapter four, Water Palace, in which Ida discovers new ways to walk. Who's that? <laughs> Who is that? He's blinking. He's squawking at me. All right, Ida, let's uh, let's go up these stairs here. Stop it! Are you watching me? Wait. Okay. Um. Oh, that's gonna rotate over there. Can I rotate that while she's on it though? We'll rotate it over here, right? And then, and then what? Oh, maybe I should step on that button first. Press the button, Ida. Oh, there we go. And then that's going to allow us to do some pretty cool movement like this. Check that out. And then we'll go right in the top of this tower here. Oh. Wait, do we come out there? Oh. Wait, how do we get down there? There was no part connecting that. Okay. I won't question it. <laughs> we made a bridge and crossed it. All right, Ida, go press this button here. Uh, that doesn't look safe. I don't know how you're doing that, but uh, just keep doing it, I guess. Oh, then that's going to allow me to walk down. <laughs> Would that be correct? Downstairs? And then we'll walk left stairs. And upright stairs. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of lost, where, like, where to go next? Can I drag anything around here? I don't see anything for me to, to grab with my fingers. I tap on these lily pads. Okay, so I see this button here, right? But I don't see how to get there. Oh, he, oh, here's the, there we go. All right, let's get to that button. Ida, Ida, you can't be doing this to me. Okay, I do not understand the gravity in this game. And also, I don't have a way to see the other side where she's walking. And I can't walk over here. Oh, oh, no, no, I do have another way to see. When that lowered, I didn't even realize until just now, but I can rotate by grabbing the bottom here. Oh my gosh, that curve is gonna change. This game is so trippy, man but also freaking sick. We're gonna go down here, and I wonder if I rotate it. Ah! Solid design. Oh man, I love that. Okay, and come up here, Ida. And then come around here, and go press that button. And we're making a new bridge. We got more crows at, just staring at us. And if I step here, this is going to allow me to... Yep, just... <laughs> defy all physics and... And follow my heart, really. Oh, what does this do? Oh. Oh, there we go. Go in that door. Oh, the ghost of Christmas passed again. Hey, look, I didn't learn anything yet. Can you can you take me back in time again? This was the Valley of Men. Now all that remains are our monuments, stripped of their glories. Wait a second, I'm just I'm just realizing that waterfall is filling itself. Sorry, I got distracted. Let's, uh, let's keep reading here. Thieving princess, why have you returned? Thieving? Excuse me, I haven't stolen anything. I don't appreciate these accusations. I'm out of here.
And the door's opening up. Oh, but then locks right behind us. That's great. Oh, um. Oh, now I'm on top instead of on the side. So we can go put our tesseract up here on the, on the, what, what shape is this? Like an octo star? An octahedron just came out of our hat. We just got shapes galore. And you know what? With how many birds I've seen, I'm surprised this place isn't covered in bird poop. But onward to the next chapter. Yeah, turn to the first side again. And this time it's side five. We're going to do chapter five. The Spire, in which Ida encounters the bothersome crow people. That guy just took a dive right off the edge there. And started walking down the wall. And now he's walking back up. That is bothersome. Okay, if I... If I touch him, is he going to do anything about it? He just yells in my face. Sir, 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 you are being very rude. I would like to pass, please. You need a breath mint. Okay, we're just going back. Oh my gosh, get out of my face. Alright, I've got to get to these stairs. Yeah, go, go ahead, yell at me all you want. I'm just trying to get to the button. Chill, bro. Oh, what does that do? Oh, it rotates a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, um... So I, I don't need it there anymore. I'm gonna need it here. Right? <laughs> if you don't tap on it just right, you might tap on a crow person instead. And it makes him squawk. See? Alright, we're gonna come down here. And I can't remember, did this also... Yes, it did. Please get there quickly, Ida. Oh, thank God. We got to the button before the crow could cut us off. And now we got to go all the way around. Because I can't just step off the corner like that guy can. Those taps are so satisfying. I love the little thing. All right, where are we going now? This looks rotatable over over here on the, on the left. Oh. Wait, is it only... Ah! Oh, there was somebody underneath. Now that doesn't seem fair. I didn't know he was there. Let's go figure out what this button does. We've got gears! Oh, and we're turning the whole tower again. Alright, I'm going to come down to these stairs. And we're going to have to rotate this guy back to the other side again. Ooh, almost, almost brought him back. Wait, did that rotation also bring this down? Oh, it did. Okay, wait. <laughs> I hope they had a fun ride. Oh, you know what? You go away. Okay, we can figure this out. We can figure this out. Oh, I'm just doing it at the wrong time. So he's going to turn around now. And we can trap him down here, right? See ya, bro. And now I can go through this door. Sucker. Oh my gosh, these crow people are incredibly bothersome. This chapter was titled so well. Okay, I think I'm trying to get in this door up here. But he's gonna scream in my face. God, brush your teeth. I'm gonna come up here. And now we can go. Nope, too early. Now we can go. Shut up! Go in the door. And it gets locked behind us, of course. Okay, we're going to want to rotate this gentleman to go over that way. And then rotate it back so that I can go on it through this doorway. And now we're up top. All right, now now I think we're going to want to rotate this one on the right so that he's stuck. Oh, maybe not, because there wasn't a platform on the other side. Shoot. Oh, wait a second. I can I can make him go, go, go vertical. Yeah, it took me a while to see that. And we'll just go through this door now. Is there another one? That's in the shadow down there. Did you see that? 
All right, this tower has to rotate or raise or something. Oh, oh, that's that's kind of weird. All right, let's go there. And I guess we'll just take this one step at a time. And then this way again. Up here, I suppose, right? Yeah. And you come over here, Ida. And we'll raise you back up. What do you say to that? Um, do I go in here? I do. And then rotate the other way. Oops, not that far. Oh, no, it was that far. And then on this corner. Gosh, everything is rotating so much here. Um, stand up here. What about over here? No. Oh, here we go. There's some ladders to climb up. And then we just rotate it a little bit more, and uh, these will line up here. And let's see what shape we're going to lay down. Our fifth shape is a uh, tetrahedron. No. No, that's a pyramid. It's a square base. I believe that's the first one that's not a regular polyhedron. But it's going to be the last one that we do today. Well, I'm really liking everything they're doing with perspective here, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this game. We'll, uh, we'll do chapter 6 next time, but, uh, you know, if you liked it, like the video, and subscribe to see more, and we'll keep this series going. Uh, there's Monument Valley 1 and 2 that I plan to do, and I'm excited to keep going. I'll see you next time.